Hello, welcome back to the AWC Automation channel. My name is Alan Sapien, and today we're going to take a basic dive into libraries and some of the benefits they offer you. Libraries are a massive subject that could take hours to discuss, so I've also provided the link to the libraries manual from Siemens in the details for more in-depth material and best practices to make your libraries a success. First, there are two different types of libraries. The first is a project library, and it is used for repeated use of objects that are saved in a library without the effort of recreating them. It can be a UDT, logic block, hardware configuration, and so on. A project library is integrated into the project and is helpful for reusing things like logical functions or faceplates. The second is global libraries and they are there to use objects across different projects. Additionally, you can share these libraries with your coworkers for consistency and to minimize duplicated efforts. These libraries can be created, managed, and maintained all from a central location. This really shows the benefit for OEMs and integrators as it maintains consistency between programmers and reduces the number of versions for support to keep up with. The main takeaway here is with Portal, once you've created an exact thing, you shouldn't have to recreate it if you're using the tools that are provided. First, I've created a scaler that I want to use multiple times in this project, so I'm going to add it to my project library. It is as simple as grabbing the block from the project tree on the left and dragging it to your project library. This time I've added it to the master copies. What this does is it it's not attached to any particular instance of ScaleX. Instead, it's just tied to the project. What I'll do in addition to that is take ScaleX and add it to my examples folder. And you'll recognize those from the UDT video. I'm reusing that project. Here we create the base instance. And then you'll see ScaleX version 0.0.1. This is the base version. Second, I want to pass the scaler to my coworkers so they don't have to recreate it. But first, what I need to do is create a global library. I'm going to create one called test, as I won't actually be sharing this. Once portal was created, the folder test, you can expand it. And what I'm going to do is grab the ScaleX from my project library and just drag it down to types. Once your object is in the library, you can go to the library name, right click, and choose Archive Library. Once your object is in the library, you'll go up to the library name, right click, go to Archive Library, tell it where to save it, and click Archive. This creates a compressed file for the library, so it's easy to transport. Now, for your coworker, all they have to do is come in here, right click, open library, and change the file type. This is an uncompressed library, so you just want to change it to compressed. Then they'll be able to navigate to that file wherever they store it on their computer and click open. That will put it in this global library for them. The fun part about global libraries is that you can make the destination path something on a shared server. And when anybody opens that library, they will have the latest version available. Again, check out the link in the description for more advanced practices. For further assistance, products, or training, please contact us at 1-800-AWC-INFO or www.awc-inc.com. We're here to help.